The freshwater river pearl mussel is uh, one of the older species in this area. So this river is uh, very interesting indeed because of the heterogeneity, the diversity of uh, genetic uh, composition among the mussels. And here the mussels get quite old and in the river itself it is uh, salmons and it is trout. And this uh, young salmon, young trout is then hosts for the young mussels. So what we're doing here by this uh, mussel, we take out a piece of this, and this piece of the shell we embed into epoxy, and then we cut it with a diamond saw, and then we polish it, and then you see this is the fine cut, which is then taken under the microscope to make imaging and stitching images and making the analysis of the increments that you will see. The beauty of this is because this shell then functions just like a book and we can compare the individual muscles and we can read the book of the river, the history of the river. So then we can see how quick the muscles have been growing, we can see how the different individuals have developed and we can as well go into the uh, this uh, effect of the climate and the pollutions and see how this is affecting the growth of the shell of the mussel. Uh, one of the other aspects of the mussel is of course, uh, which is important, is they are indicator of the, the, uh, the ecosystem, but they are also key species. And they influence their habitat of uh, the river by cleaning the water. So one mussel is average mussel of average size is cleaning approximately 50 liters of water per day. So that is a substantial contribution to get cleaner water, which is essential for the salmon and the trout uh, especially. The lesson learned by this uh, studies is how the mussels in rivers are responding to uh, natural phenomena as well to the increased climate and to the pollution because the mussel is this pearl mussel, the freshwater pearl mussel, is a real indicator in the ecosystem of the river. So they are telling as well <clears throat> what is going on in the whole ecosystem, not only what happens with the mussels, but they are fine indicators of what uh, the ecosystem is uh, and how the ecosystem is developing. So they as well can tell how it will be developing the uh, salmon population, what, how much we can fish, how we can use the river, how we should not use the river and the area around.